ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸತಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸತಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷ್ಯಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷ್ಯಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಪತಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ 
वागी सजुष वदने लक्ष्मीर्जस च बक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबीद निशिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृपा सिंधु सुसंपूर्ण सर्वसत्वोपकार कहा निष्पृह सर्वत सिद्ध सर्वविद्या विशारद सर्वसंशय संक्षेत अनलस गुरु राहित कृपा सिंधु सुसंपूर्ण सर्वसत्वोपकार कहा निष्पृह सर्वत सिद्ध सर्वविद्या विशारद सर्वसंशय संक्षेत अनलस गुरु राहित गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल दोज आर डिवॉइड ऑफ अनुगत्य दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट लाइक ए बीस्ट और मोर देन ए बीस्ट गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल दोज आर डिवॉइड ऑफ अनुगत्य And to all those with the Sadguru, Sadguru Anugatha, those who are devoid of Anugatha, and to all those with the Sadguru, they are just like beast or more than beast, because without submission unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma, nobody can reach up to that level of their absolute truth. Many times, Prabhupada used to tell, used to say. There is the only and single way. There is the only and single way to meet with that absolute. What is that way? What is that way? That is called to depend upon Shautobani. Only we will have to depend upon Shautobani, Shauto Parampara, Shautobani, or Prakita transcendental sound vibration. अप्राकृत साउंड वाइब्रेशन अप्राकृत शब्द ब्रह्म इफ यू कैन टेक सेल्टर अन टू अ लोटस पीट ऑफ अप्राकृत शब्द ब्रह्म देन बी श्योर दिस लाइफ यू कैन गेट इन कंटैक्ट विथ द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ देर इज द ओनली एन सिंगल वे और नो अदर वे बट प्रॉब्लम इज दैट मेनी पीपल कैन डिमेंड महाराज आई एम ऑल्सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन सौथ पंथा so why i am not going to meet with that absolute truth many people can demand like that we are depend upon sauto pantha sauto bani or prakrita shabda brahma but they forget one vital thing they forget one vital thing that is without chaitya guru kipa mahant guru can appear in front of you according to your prayer according you according to your craving craving you know according to your craving prayer according to your previous sanskar according to your previous sanskar you can meet with you can meet with the kripa of chaitya guru according to the kripa according to your previous sanskar you can get sadguru according to a previous sanskar according to a craving according to a demand surely because balaji maharaj is there watching you all balaji maharaj always watching who need who who need actually that absolute tatva who want to meet with that absolute truth who is going to dedicate himself unto a lotus feet of absolute truth who is that according to that balaji ji maharaj watching and can surely can give you the scope so that you can meet with sadguru and 
before accepting Sadguru, before accepting Sadguru, all your hearing Harikatha is good, it's not bad. Before accepting Sadguru, all your hari, all your hearing Harikatha from right source can give you bumper success. Because that success can help you to reach Mahantu Guru, Diksha Guru. If you are hearing all of Prakita Sabda Brahma, that time actually if you are not taking shelter unto the lotus feet of Sadguru, the time up to, up to that time, you cannot get 100% facility of Sabda Brahma. Follow what I say. Before taking shelter unto the lotus feet of Sadguru, you can get the benefit of Sabda Brahma. But to some extent, because bonded soul, they have no capacity to digest Sabda Brahma. Digestion, power should be there. So, that Harikatha, preliminary Harikatha can guide you. Preliminary Harikatha can guide you and you can feel it necessary to take shelter unto a lotus feet of Sadguru. Follow. Suppose somebody for the past 20 years hearing Harikatha from right source, no bad. But still he is not feeling necessary eh, necessary uh, to take shelter of a Sadguru. Then his Harikatha is not at all hearing Harikatha. His hearing, hearing Harikatha is totally a drama. Total drama. That day I was speaking na, about Madhusudan Das Babaji Maharaj Paramangsha. Actual demand is crying, where I can get Sadguru, where I can... In my own life also, same. Nobody guide me, automatically, I get, because demand was there. So, after hearing Harikatha, if you, if you are not feeling it, not feeling it necessary to take shelter of a Sadguru, then your Harikatha is not perfect Harikatha. Your hearing Harikatha is not perfect Harikatha. Suppose you are hearing from right source, but still you are not hearing a feeling in potency to take shelter around. Then in that case, your Harikatha hearing one kind of drama. It's a must. It's a must. You must feel it necessary to take shelter of a Sadguru. After that, you can take shelter of a Sadguru at all Sadguru. If you are going to take shelter of a Sadguru, after that, Sadguru can give you mantra, initiation, Initiation is such a procedure. Initiation is such a procedure through which you can get 100% facility. Actual initiation can give you so power that immediately you can grow your consciousness, very high level consciousness. But actually, a general dikha, that jiksha, they are taking, it takes a long time. Diksha, actually it's a long procedure. The procedure through which you can grow your exact consciousness. Dibbo gyan yato dadyat kuryat papusha sankshayam. Dibbo gyan, transcendental knowledge. I mean immediately you can grow your relationship with Bhagavan, Guru, Vaishnava, relationship with Bhagavan. Samanda, to develop Samanda, is the actual secrecy of Diksha. Actual secrecy of Diksha is to give you Samanda Gyan. If you are not growing Samanda Gyan, still today, you are not feeling that Bhagavan is my only friend. Guru Vaishnava is my only friend. If you are not feeling that way, then surely your Diksha is not to prove. Not perfect Diksha. Then surely your Diksha is not perfect Diksha. So anyway, if your Diksha is okay, okay, maybe you are taking Diksha perfectly, but still not complete. After taking Diksha, only and only after taking Diksha, only and only after taking Diksha unto the lotus feet of Sadguru, you can grow the power of digestion of Sabda Brahma. I mean Harikatha. After hearing, you can catching power. What is a catching power? Catching power, realization power can grow 
catching power, realization power can grow only after taking perfect dekha. Sometimes some exceptional things happening. Sometimes something exceptional thing. Suppose one devotee, like Bhagavan Goswami Maharaj, I can discuss, a small boy, he is hearing Harikatha, he can realize. He can realize. He is coming newly here, he is all hearing, attending Harikatha. This is a special case. He is an eternal person. This can be reason. Another reason can be there. Maybe that devotee in previous life, maybe that devotee in previous life, he took shelter unto the lotus feet of Sadguru. Sadguru. He took shelter unto the lotus feet of Sadguru. Maybe in previous life he has done so many seva. After that, due to some mistake, he was not successful. He was not successful that life. So anyway, according to the commitment of Krishna, he was bound to take birth again. Follow. Always remember, Dikha, the procedure, is related with your Atma. If you think your body is going to take Diksha, your mind is going to Diksha, then your Diksha is not perfect. Diksha is related with your Atma, bonded soul, Atma. Diksha related to that. So that Atma, previous life he took shelter on 12 years of Sadhguru, Sadhguru. But somehow he was not successful. That's why he was bound to take birth again. Again started bhajan. This kind of exceptional case can be there. So he can grow some maturity. Pre-maturity he can. But this is usual, this is not usual case. So, only and only by the help of Chaitya Guru, only and only by the help of Chaitya Guru, you can realize Harikatha. Only and only by the help of Chaitya Guru, you can realize Harikatha, you can get the scope to take shelter on Amtulu Sadguru, and you can realize Harikatha. Without Guru Kipa, if you have so many titles, Suppose you are Bhagavad Ratna, Vedanta Bhagish, Siddhanta Bhagish, so many titles you can have. Suppose you, you know Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, everything. Suppose you know. But still, if you are not going to enjoy Guru Kipa, surely you cannot realize Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. You cannot realize Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. I was speaking about the symptom of Guru Pat Padma Sanatan Goswami writing in Hari Bhakti Vilas. Srila Sanatan Goswami writing in Hari Bhakti Vilas about the complete definition of Sadguru Tattva. I was speaking, I cannot give time to discuss because long time it will take. Kripa Sindhu is the ocean of Kripa. Kripa Sindhu Susang Purno. He himself is complete. Complete means no dissatisfaction. Kipasindu Shushang Purno. Shu mean Shu Shampurno mean complete. Shudame Agdom nicely, perfectly complete. Very, very. So Kipasindu Shushang Purno, Sarva Satya Pukarakaha. He is always busy to find benefit for all jiva. All jiva. Sarva Sattopakarakaha means any creature here in this material world, he always, he always busy to find some benefit for them. Follow. For Mangal, absolute Mangal. So, Kipasindu Susangpurno, Sarva Sattopakarakaha, Nispriho. He has no desire to love, puja, patisha, nothing. Nispriho. Sarvata Siddho. Who is having Krishna Bhakti, who is having Krishna Bhakti, he is Sarva Siddho. Sarva Siddho. He has no, you cannot find any fault with him. It's not possible. Sarva Siddho. Kipa Sindhu Susangpurva Sarva Sattva Karpa Karakaha Nispriyo Sarvataha Siddho 
Sarva Vidya Visharada. Gaur Kishor Babaji Maharaj, though you can say, Ved Vedanta Upanishad Shastra, he don't know, but as per our Siddhanta Vichar, we know, Gaur Kishor Babaji Maharaj having all knowledge about Shastra. Sarva Sattva Bhagavan, Nispiyo Sarva Tosa, Sarva Vidya Visharada. Because, if you are going to realize Krishna Tattva, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking one single word, to identify a Sadguru, to identify a Sadguru, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is speaking only one word. What is that? Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hai. Who is having realization about Krishna Tattva is Guru. Maybe he is Shudra externally. Maybe he is from a low family. Maybe he is from Muslim family, Haridas Thakur, but you cannot think that way. Follow. Jai Krishna Tattvetta, Sai Guru Hai, Rai Ramananda took birth in a low family, but still Rai Ramananda is top guru. Haridas Thakur, topmost guru. So this way, Jai Krishna Tattvetta, Sai Guru Hai. Regarding Guru Tattva, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking one and single word. A single sentence. Jai Krishna Tattvita Sai Guru Hoi. So, as per Upanishad, we find some Siddhanta Vichar. Jasmin Gatte Sarva Midam Vigyatum Bhavati. After realizing Krishna Tattva, after realizing Krishna Tattva, you can get full knowledge. You need not, you need not. And uh, you need not, you uh, know, uh, no, collect other Vidya, all Vidya. Because Krishna is the source of all Vidya, na? Krishna is the source of all Vidya. So if you are going to know Krishna Tattva, then in, in uh, Upanishad speaking, Jasmin Gyatya Sarvamidam Vigyatam Bhavati. If you are going to know Krishna Tattva, you can know the infinity Tattva in this infinity world. You need not learn anything. Jasmin prapte sarvamidam praptum bhavati. If you are going to get the lotus feet of Krishna, you cannot feel it necessary to accept any other things. Krishna Tattva is the topmost treasure, na? complete. So, this is the. So, Gaur Kishad Das Babaji Maharaj externally. Externally, Gaur Kishad Das Babaji Maharaj is not educated. But since Gaur Kishad Babaji Maharaj is Krishna Tattva Bhit, so he is having all knowledge. He is having all knowledge. Prabhupada used to say, Prabhupada used to say, externally, my Guru Pat Padma, Prabhupada used to say, externally, my Guru Pat Padma Paramangsa, Gaur Kishad Das Babaji Maharaj, externally he is not educated. You can find, but be sure, be sure he is capable to solve any problem pertaining to this 14 world. Any problem he can solve. He is so vast eh? in Krishna Tattva. Krishna Tattva means he can solve all problems. Krishna Prem is the only solution, na? So, so externally you can find that my Guru Padva Paramahansa Guru Dev is not educated, but be sure he is, he is able to solve any problem in this infinite world, 14 world, anywhere. Any problem you can solve. Because he is having the gist, because he is having the gist of all, he is having the gist of all, you know, education. That is Krishna Tattva. Krishna Tattva there, that's why he can. So, Kipasindu Susankurno Sarva Sattva Pukarakaha Nispriho Sarva Toho Siddho Sarva Vidya Visharadha Sarva Sangsaya Sangsheta. Two days ago, I was speaking about this thing. Jiva Goswami Pad, you can remember the sloka I was being. Tasmad Guru Prapadditu Jigyasu Sriya Uttamam. I was speaking. Shabde Parichan Ishnatam Brahmani Upasamasrayam. Jiva Goswami was speaking, suppose disciple going to ask some question. 
Suppose disciple going to ask some question to Guru Pātva. Guru Pātva is giving answer, but not giving any, you know, uh, Sanskrit, not speaking in Sanskrit words, any from different places. He can give, because Sadhguru can give answer to follow. But if disciple going to express some doubt, if disciple going to express some doubt about Sadhguru, then he can, he can fall down. There is a big problem. If he express some doubt about Sadhguru, simply because he is not educated, he cannot give your answer from directly from Sastra, he can give answer. He can give. He is Siddhantavit. Because Bhakti Mita was speaking, who is Siddhantavit? He is Guru. Who is Guru? He is Siddhantavit. Guru, but no Siddhantavit is absurd. Guru, at the same time, he is not Siddhantavit. Maharaj is a nice Vaishnava. Maharaj is a nice Vaishnava, very nice. But he is not having knowledge about Shastra. It is absurd. It is absurd. Im impossible. Shadguru mean is words in Shastra. He can give answer to any question. And who can give a answer to all of your question is Sadguru. Siddhantabit is Sadguru. Sadguru, Siddhantabit, in between no compromise. Siddhantabit, but no Sadguru, impossible. Because Siddhanta you can realize by the mercy of Bhagavan, Balaram. Otherwise not. This way, you can realize a Sadguru can solve any problem. Sadguru can give answer to any question. Sangsaya, Sarva Sangsaya Sangsheta. Not only he can, not, not only he can eradicate, eradicate all your you know, suspicion, doubt, he can help you to establish in Krishna Bhakti. He can give answer to your question, any question. Sarva Sangsa, Sarva Sangsa, Sangsheta. Cheta no, Cheta mani cut. Very, very perfect way. Cheta means he can cut. He can cut your doubt. But Sangsheta means very perfect way. Very nicely he can cut. So that no smell of doubt can be there inside your heart. After Hearing that answer. Follow. Two days ago I was speaking, because there can be some confusion, I was thinking somebody can feel confusion about how it is possible. Because Shankar Bhagavan speaking, that way I already give answer, but still more detailed answer I like to give. More detail, because otherwise you can express doubt. I was speaking about that. Shankar Bhagavan speaking, Shankar Bhagavan speaking, I am, I know by the mercy of Bhagavan, I know Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan, Aham Vetti, Shukha Vetti, Vaisa Vetti no Vetti Va, Vaisa knowing or doing knowing, I have no idea, no guarantee, I don't know. Aham Vetti, Shukha Vetti, Vaisa Vetti no Vetti Va, Bhaktya Bhagavata Graiha, Na Buddhya Na Tikaya. I was speaking that Vaisdev, Shankar Bhagavan speaking, that Vaisdev can know, cannot know. So I was giving answer, like one cookman, when cooking, cookman cannot understand what is the test of the item he is cooking. The item what is cooking cannot, because he is cooking. Those who are taking prasadam test, they can understand. I was giving this answer. Remember, more detail answer I like to give because otherwise you can express doubt. You can express doubt. Point is that first you should remember that Vaisdev Goswami is Shakta Vesh Avatar. He is Bhagavan. Vaisdev Goswami is Bhagavan, Shakta Vesh Avatar. Vaisdev Goswami is not devotee. First point you forget. He is Saktavish Avatar, I mean Bhagavan. Anyway, Bhagavan is Bhagavan. And out of his, you know, you know, out of his 
causeless mercy, he was bound to write all Shastra. It is written in Bhagavatam, first canto. He was feeling pain by watching, he was feeling pain by watching all bondage soul all around, what they are doing, crazy, they are going to hell. So, he was bound to compile. Vyasadeva Goswami. So, first point, Vyasadeva Goswami is Bhagavat Tattva, not devotee Tattva. My question in front of you, why, why Krishna Bhagavan wanted to get the test, uh, wanted to take the test of devotional, you know, mood of Radharani? My question to you. Is Krishna, he can know everything. Try to remember. He is Krishna himself, but Krishna in Chaitanya Chaitanya it is written, out of desire, how Radharani feeling, what is the excellent feeling Radharani having inside her heart when he is going to meet with me by watching me? What is the mood Radharani growing when he is you know, showing devotional, you know, when serving me? What kind of feeling? Krishna wanted to know this. For that reason, Krishna took decision to steal the body complexion and the mood of Radharani. Yes or not? Eh? Yes or not? Because Radharani is a predominated absolute and Krishna is predominating absolute. Krishna is absolute, Radharani also absolute. Krishna is absolute and Radharani also absolute. Not that Radharani is not, you know. What is, many times I told, who is Krishna? He is Radharani. Who is Radharani? Is Krishna. Because from Shastra I told, na, Skandapuran glorification, Sha Evo Sha. It is written, Sha Evo Sha. Who is Krishna? Is Radharani. Who is Radharani? Is Krishna. So, non different from me. But still, there is a certain speciality that Krishna is, is predominating absolute and Radharani is predominated absolute. Absolute Shevak Bhagavan. Absolute Sevak Bhagavan. Absolute Sevak Bhagavan. Follow? So, if Krishna is going to take decision to take the form of, you know, take the mood of Radharani, and when you take the body completion, then what wrong in it? If I say that Vaisya Goswami is, you know, actually Bhagavat Tattva, Shakta is Bhagavat Tattva. Bhagavat Tattva is Bhagavat Tattva. Bhagavat Tattva, Bhagavat Tattva, it is impossible for Bhagavat Tattva to realize the taste already in him. Because Bhagavaji Mahapuran is non-different from Krishna. Bhagavaji Mahapar non different from Krishna, it is written. Shukdev Goswami giving answer Krishna Parivartitaha. Krishna coming in the form of transcendental sound. That is Krishna. Shukdev Goswami is speaking Shivat, about Bhagavaji Mahapuran, Shakshat Krishna Evahi. What Shukdev Goswami is speaking? Shukdev Goswami giving answer, remember about Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran, Shukdev Goswami saying, Shakshat Krishna Evahi. Tamadi Devam Purusho Puranam, Tamal Varnam Suhita Vataram, Apar Sangsara Samundra Tetum, Bhajam Mahi Bhagavatu Sarupam. You can remember, again you hear. Tamadi Devam Purusho Puranam Tamal Varnam Sweetavataram Apar Sangsar Sumundra Setum Bajam Mahi Bhagavatu Sarupam. What is there? Eating? Tamadi Devam, be careful. Tam, Tam, you are Adi Dev, Krishna. About Bhagavad glorification, it is Tamadi Devam Purusho Puranam. You are that absolute Krishna coming in the form of Bhagavatam. Tamadi Devam Purusho Puranam Tamala Varnam Suitavataram. Tamala Varnam. You are coming in the form of Bhagavatam. Follow. 
So, how it is possible? It is many documents, many evidence there, Bhagavatam. Krishna cannot get the taste what is there inside himself. Krishna cannot understand what taste is there inside me. Krishna cannot understand what, what, what kind of taste is there inside me. So, how to realize, how to relish? So, he took decision to take the you know, heart of Radharani, Baba. Radha Baba and body complexion. Now, if Vaisdev Goswami is Bhagavan, Vaisdev Goswami is Bhagavan, otherwise who can compile? Who can compile thousands of sastra? Who can compile? Only his Bhagavan, na? He is Bhagavan. That's why Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Bhagavatam, all Puranam, all everything. How possible? Hey man, common people they have, common people they have no clear about clear idea about when. Common people they have no clear idea about when Basdev Goswami took birth. Someday I can discuss. Titiyo jugo parjaye I can discuss when Basdev Goswami took birth. That. Most of the people, they don't know. Follow. If I, if I go through Bhagavatam, I can show you that Bhagavad Avatar count. Shukdev Goswami going to count Bhagavad Avatar. All. There you can find the name of Vaisdev Goswami already counted before Ramchandra. Ah, wonder? But you have no idea. If you can go in Bhagavatam, you can see uh, Sukhda Krishna speaking, avatar. Eh? 26 avatar, 26 avatar. Eh no? All avatar. But there you can find the name of Vaisdev Goswami counted, already counted there, before Ramchan. Then you can go, man, how possible? Ramchandra took by the theta. This I can someday I can explain about you. I have no time here. Titiyo Jugo Pariyaye. I know. Kali Yug going on. Kali Yug going on. Shatta Yug entering. Kali Yug gone. Shatta Yug entering. Shatta Yug gone. Theta Yug entering. Theta Yug. Theta Yug entering. Theta Yug gone. So, first you know, and uh, Kali Yuk, first, Kali, tight account. Kali Yuk going to, going to be finished, Kali Yuk finish, then Shatta Yuk, then a fast junction. Kali Yuk going on, now Shatta Yuk entering, the fast junction. After that, Shatta Yuk gone, Shatta Yuk gone, then after that, Teta Yuk. And after that, Teta Yug going to be finished, then eh? Teta Yug going to, the Dapar Yug going to be entered. Follow. So three junctions you find. One is one is Kali and Shatta, I mean Kali going to finish, Shatta, one junction. Second, Shatta Yug going, Teta uh, entering. Third, Teta going. Daparin. So in Bhagavatam, what is written? Titiyo Jugo Pariyaye. When third junction, Titiyo Jug. Titiyo Jugo Pariyaye. I mean, Koli Gon, Satta, Satta Gon, Titiyo Jug Pariyaye. I mean, Satta, Teta, you know, Satta, Teta, Dapar, you know, Dapar going to enter. Before that, Vaisdev Goswami took birth. Before that, Vaisdev Goswami took birth. So long time. So you see, Bhagavan Sri Krishna took birth at the, at the end of the Prajuk. Bhagavan Sri Krishna took birth almost at the end of Tatu. Because it is written, Krishna gone, immediately Koli entering. It is written. And Ramchandra also took birth at the end. Ramchandra also took birth at the end of 
at the end of Teta Yu. So Basdev Goswami is writing Shastra for a long time. Long time writing. So different Shastra. Now, if Krishna like to understand the mood of Radharani, because Radharani, what is what kind of test is there with Radharani? She like to he like to understand. So why you cannot understand that Basdev Goswami is Bhagavat Tattva? That's why Shankar Bhagavan can never never speak wrong Siddhanta. Basdev Goswami, knowing or not knowing, I have no idea. Why? Because for Bhagavat Tattva, for Bhagavat Tattva, it is impossible to understand his own Tattva. Bhagavat Tattva, if you ask Krishna what is your quality, how devotees he cannot understand. So Bhagavat means Bhagavat can understand only Granta Bhagavat, those who are those who are devotee Bhagavat. Those who are devotee Bhagavat, Bhakta Bhagavat, they can understand Bhagavat. I am not Shankar Bhagavan not speaking that Basdev Goswami at all know not, no, no, knows nothing. He is speaking, he can know, cannot know, because Bhagavat Tattva. He is Bhagavat Tattva. Surely he can have some knowledge, surely. But to get the taste of Srimad Bhagavad Mahapurana, we will have to depend upon Shukdev Goswami. Because he is Bhakta Bhagavat. To get the complete taste of Bhagavatam, we will have to depend upon Shukdev Goswami. And also, I already told that day, Shangur Narada Sambhu Kumara Kapila Manu Pralado Vishmo Janako Bolir Vayasakir Vayam Dada Saite Bijanimo Dharmang Bhagavatam Bhatta Guyam Vishuddham Durvadhyam Jadgyata Amrita Masrute. Already written there. There is no, there is twelve Mahajan, na? Dadas Mahajan. There is 12 Mahajan, na? Dadas Mahajan. So, Basdev name of, of Basdev Goswami is not there. Those who are 12 Mahajan, they have idea. They are Acharya of Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. I mean Bhagavad Dharma. They are Bhagavad Dharma Acharya. But, Shankar Bhagavan wanted to say that Shukdev Goswami in Bhagavad Bhagavatam also I was speaking. How it was possible for Sukhdev Goswami to even to understand all secret Rasa Lila, everything. Follow, I was speaking. All twelve Mahajan, they are Bhagavad Dharma Acharya, no doubt. But when Shankar Bhagavan is speaking, completely. Shankar Bhagavan is speaking, Om Vetti, Sukha Vetti. Vaso Vetti, no. This is the reason. That doesn't mean that Vasudev Goswami knowing nothing. He is Bhagavad Tattva, Shakta Vishavata. So, about uh, test of Bhagavad Tattva, we will have to depend upon, you know, Bhakta Bhagavad. It's more practical. Follow what I say. Now, I will have to explain two sloka I forget previous day. So, then I can discuss, because I am discussing all about the, you know, Siddhanta Vichara of Guru Vaishnava Tattva, Bhagavat Tattva, you know. So, today is the appearance day of Bhakta Bhagavat Parampujivad Bhakti Kushan Saman Goswami Maharaj. So, Saman Goswami Maharaj, he took birth in Dhaka. Dhaka means at present Bangladesh. is the capital of Bangladesh. Dhaka. Our Banu Goswami Maharaj took birth in Dhaka. Our Tibikam Maharaj took birth in Dhaka. Follow. Follow. They all took birth in Dhaka. Our Saman Goswami Maharaj took birth in Dhaka. Another devotee, you have no information about him. That is Krishnananda Maharaj. His name was Krishnananda Maharaj. Nobody knows. You have never heard. Even in list, you know, they don't put the name of Krishnananda Maharaj. Krishnananda Maharaj was the disciple of Popad. But nobody knows. 
out of their general conception, they make a list, they don't know. Krishnananda Maharaj. So Krishnananda Maharaj and our Shaman Goswami Maharaj, both of them, bluesome friend. Krishnananda Maharaj was a homeopathic doctor. Homeopathic doctor, you know, he was a perfect doctor. Mane, not that ordinary doctor. He is a certificate doctor. Homeopathic doctor. And our Bhakti Kusham Samango Sri Maharaj, he was MBBS doctor. He was also MBBS, allopathic doctor. English medicine, allopathic. He was homeopathic doctor. Both of them friendship. Now, first of all, I like to speak some preliminary thing. He took birth in Dhaka. His father, mother was very nice, very nice boy, very nice. <coughs> and mother used to hear Bhagavatam. Mother used to hear Bhagavatam and always coming after hearing Bhagavatam and going to speak the gist what he what she heard. Follow. Her ma his mother used to go to Bhagavad Sabha to hear Bhagavatam and always coming back to home and going to speak all in details about, about what, he, what she heard. Because the boy and was now in a student, he will have to give concentration to education. That was their mood. It is not my mood. My mood is that even if you are a student, my mood is that even if you are a student, still you will have to hear Bhagavatam. But anyway, their conception, anyway, not always going. Uh, so, sometime going. So, someday he is going to request mother, mother, you bless me so that I can become a, uh, I can become a devotee. You bless me. This way, education going on. Education, he was very good student. Education going on. Dhaka is also not an ordinary place. Dhaka University, Dhaka Jagannath College, Dhaka. Different educational facility was there, especially that time. I don't know the standard of education at present. I, was spe I am speaking about that time. That time, Calcutta University was the topmost. Calcutta University, now you hear Arizona University, you know, different university, you know, Columbia, Columbia University, uh, you can hear so many. But that time, Calcutta University was topmost. I mean, people used to compare Calcutta University with, with England and you know, Oxford. Oxford. Anyway, though that time education standard of Dhaka was not bad, very good. So you still learn, they are there. After that, after completing, you know, preliminary education, he took admission in, you know, this MBBS degree to get MBBS degree, I mean, doctor, he wanted to become. So after that, he passed, uh, actually, he took birth in the year of 1900. My Guru Padma took birth, 1898. My Guru Padma took birth, 1898. Or Samangu took birth, 1900. 1900. Exactly 1900. After Karthik, uh, they write Karthik, I don't know their calculation. They write Karthik, I don't know. Mokshoda uh, Akadushi, I know. Maybe they uh, don't know because we can, he, we can depend upon Tibikam Maharaj, who is the Acharya. We depend, he say, that Mukhoda Ekadoshi is the birth day. You can depend upon that. Abhir Bhakti is Thirobha. Mukhoda Ekadoshi is Thirobha. Mukhoda Ekadoshi is Thirobha. Eh? Eh? Now, today is the Thirobha Bhakti. So, today is the Thirobha Bhakti of Maharaj. He took birth, they, they say, the month of Karthik, he told. Karthik, Anna, Gavardhan Puja. Anyway, so it's okay, maybe. So, so many Abhir Bhakti Reva, I have to remember, na? I should not forget. Anyway, so he, uh, you know, appeared 1900, Govardhan Puja, 1900, you know, in, in the year of 1900. 
So after that, then onward he has got degree in 1926. Doctor, doctor degree, MBBS degree. MBBS degree you got 1926. 26, he got doctor. After that, he went on practicing. Practice, you know. Practice, you know. Treatment, giving treatment to doctor. One day, he hear the speech of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Dr. Prabhupada. Because Prabhupada went there in Dhaka, Julanbari. He can remember. Prabhupada was explaining Janma Dasya Yatu, this first look, for one month. Prabhupada was explaining Janma Dasya Yatu, this sloka, for one month. That time, both Saman Goswami Maharaj and Krishnananda Maharaj, both of them friends, they used to come and attend the Harikatha of, of our Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta. After hearing, both, after hearing, after hearing, both of them took decision. After hearing Harikatha, both of them took decision. We can sell ourselves unto the lotus feet of this great, you know, great Bhagavad Parshat. His body effulgent, his mood, his teya, <laughs> abnormal, exceptional. So he can take shelter unto a lotus feet of Prabhupada. Both of them took decision. After taking shelter unto a lotus feet of Prabhupada, they finally took decision to join the mission of Prabhupada. Divine mission of Prabhupada. So, after taking Diksha, after taking Diksha, his name was Krishna Kanti Brahmachari. After taking Diksha, his name was Krishna Kanti Brahmachari. Krishna Kanti Brahmachari. And his name was Krishnananda. After that, he, I, many times I attended Harikatha there. I didn't ask them why, is, you know, because he, I heard that he is also sannyasi. Like maybe, maybe like Sarv Gosai. Sarv Gosai took. Sarv Gosai took. Almost like sannyasi, but not taking danda. It is written Chaitanya Chaitanya. Follow. It is written, you can go through. So maybe, so otherwise, Krishnananda Maharaj, this name is, I never, I never asked them, any anyway, Krishnananda Maharaj, I think so, that he took sannyas from somebody, not from Prabhupada. So both of them wanted to join the mission, the divine mission of Prabhupada. They started serving Prabhupada. So, he is a completely dedicated soul, extreme patience, extreme patience. If somebody is speaking all rubbish, anything to him, he never wanted to speak anything to him. Always, with full, you know, full, you know, power, and he could tolerate, tolerating power. This way, Maharaj started his seva. Finally, he lived with doctor, everything. But in, uh, in our mart, if some devotee becomes sick, preliminary he could give treatment. Because Prabhupada never asked him to do, uh, give treatment. Anyway, some preliminary thing he could. So after that, he started doing seva. And Bhakti Ballab Tithu Goswami Maharaj speaking. Bhakti Ballab Tithu Goswami Maharaj speaking. When my Guru Pat Padma Sila Bhakti Dito Madhugusi Maharaj was elected and selected as the Acharya of Chaitanya Mart, that time uh, in the first batch, all the all the devotees, all the devotees, all the disciples coming in first batch. First batch, you know. After Sila Bhakti Dito Madhugusi Maharaj, that time he was Brahmachari, Hayagur Brahmachari. He was elected Acharya. Of Chaitanya Maharaj. That time, Bhakti Vallabhati Tukhusi Maharaj, Damodar Maharaj, Damodar Maharaj, you know, so many devotees came, came there. They all came, that time. So the first batch disciple, automatically they are serving Chaitanya Maharaj, because there are no separate mod. Follow? There are no separate mod, na? So, Srila Bhakti Vallabhati Tukhusi Maharaj speaking, I mean, Bhakti Vallabhati Tukhusi Maharaj speaking, my Gurudev, my Gurudev, 
my Gurudev request um, uh, this, you know, Krishna Kanti Prabhu, I mean, uh, Bhakti Kusum Saman Goswami Maharaj, to give full teachings about how to edit, because Guru Maharaj, I mean, Hayagi Brahmachari, allowed him to do Bani Sheva, editing, because he educated, na? very high educated, very highly educated, na? so he allow, uh, so he allow, he allow our Bhakti Valla Tithu Kusumaya, that kind, uh, uh, his name was uh, uh, Krishna Vallabh. He is Krishna Kanti, uh, his name was Krishna Vallabh. Krishna Vallabh Brahmachari was there with our Bhakti Kusumaya Saman Kusumaya to learn. So, Bhakti Valla Tithu was speaking that he was my guru, Shiksha Guru. He used to help me how to edit how to edit Patrika, how to, you know, give, you know, arrange, all everything. Proofreading, writing, all everything. For Ch Chaitanya, uh, it is called there, there is uh, Chaitanya what from there, they are publishing Patrika, Patrika from Chaitanya daily, you know, not daily, monthly, Fortnight, different. After Prabhupada gone, there was not so, you know, by the time of Prabhupada, you know, a daily newspaper, Nadiya Prakash, at the time of Prabhupada, daily Nadiya Prakash, and after that, Sajjan Tosani also, later on, first Bhakti Mutraga started. First Bhakti Mutraga, after Bhakti Mutraga gone, Prabhupada started, you know, continuing, continuing, Sajjan Tosani. I can discuss this point at the Abhirvaptiti of, uh, Tirovaptiti of Prabhupada. Anyway, so this way, Bhakti Vallabhti was speaking, I learned all editing, everything, all the different department of Patrika. I learned from him as a very sober personality. He always to give me very soft treatment to teach me everything. This way, there is some incident I don't like to speak. Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj was bound to go away from Chaitanya Mahat. After that, Bhakti Vila Sritya Goswami Maharaj was elected the Acharya. Bhakti Vila Sritya Goswami Maharaj elected Acharya. After that, Bhakti Vila Sritya Goswami After that, Sila Saman Goswami Maharaj was elected as Acharya because he was always, from the beginning to end, from the beginning to end, he was in Chaitanya Mahat. He never wanted to open one separate mart. Any kind of problem can be there. Any kind of problem. But he was, from starting to end, he was there. So, finally he was elected Acharya. After Saman Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Kankan, Tapashri Maharaj was, nobody knows. In between, another devotee of Bhakti, Balakti, Bhakti, Dvita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, nobody knows. You have no past history, you don't know. Another, he was uh, made uh, in charge of Kobur Mot. His name, uh, I forget. Uh, very important, I, I know, he was there. So many Acharya. So our Bhakti Kusum Saman Goswami Maharaj was long time, he was Acharya. For a long time, Bhakti Kusum Saman Goswami Maharaj was Acharya. And Bhagavad Maharaj was the disciple of, say, Bhakti Bila Tritya Goswami Maharaj. He was also cooperating with Maharaj. So many history anyway. So, for a long time, with full patience, full tolerance, like Trinada Vibhav, with full tolerance, full patience, like Trinada Vibhav, he went on continuing as Acharya. Many disciples, I cannot count, many disciples, Bangladesh, here, yeah, they are, you know, that time it was not Bangladesh, well, later on the division was there, still, at present also. So many di disciples of Saman Goswami Maharaj, here, yeah, they are so, very nice, he used to act as Acharya, he of Chaitanya Mahat, and perfectly, he was acting perfectly. All his writing, all his harikatha, because that time recorder was there, recorder. 
At the time of Popa, there was no recorder. So you can get recorder on uh, writing and everything out there. He wrote so many books also, so many things. Follow. So after that, finally, he was expressing the Leela of Paramahansa. Finally, he was expressing the Leela of Paramahansa. Finally, at the end, at, at end time, as if absorbingly he is in bhajan, some prasadam there, some important there, Annakuta Adi, Swaman Goswami Maharaj asking to devotees and disciples, you have given prasadam to them, you have given prasadam to them, I mean trees, trees, all trees. Maharaj speaking, you have given prasadam to them, like mad. You can think mad, but it's not mad, like Paramahansa. You are giving prasadam to this, them, all trees. Follow, is to say. Full patience, you know, they used to do anyway. After that, there are so many, you know, things are related with him, so important incident. Like I heard, I went to the, I went to, uh, Durgapur. I went to Durgapur for Harikatha by the invitation of Acharya of Devananda Gurimar. There some devotees of Samanga Maharaj came to meet uh, in the function. They finally they take me and some devotees we went to his house and there he discussed so many miracle incident about his life history. He is speaking my wife, my wife finally developed cancer-like thing. Doctor is not sure. For biopsy, he is asking. I was very worried. I was very anxious. Uh, somehow I run, I run and come to my Guru Maharaj to beg for Kipa. But when I pay pranam to, when I pay pranam to our, my Guru Padma, Bhakti Goswami, Saman Goswami Maharaj, he is speaking, no problem, it is not cancer. He said, I don't discuss anything. Nobody knows. I come. Finally, first of all, I enter the room and pay pranam. Don't worry, it is not cancer. All problem. He is speaking. So many things, you know. This way, he was organizing the society of Chaitanya Mahat. After that, finally, he was... Manifesting some Sikh Leela, manifesting some Sikh Leela, Chaitanya Mahat, for a long time, was manifesting Sikh Leela. Even then he was making disciple, because consciousness was there, full. Consciousness was there. Sometime he used to go to Bangladesh here, there for preaching, but most of the time, most of the time he used to say, he used to stay in Chaitanya Mahat. Chaitanya Mahat was his heart. He was to stay there in Chaitanya Mahat. By the instruction of Prabhupada, by the instruction of, of, of Srila Prabhupada, he was preaching here and there a little bit. But most of the time he used to stay in Chaitanya Mahat from beginning, you know. Sometimes went to Kobur here, there. But most of the time you can... I mean, when he was aged, that time he was here, almost here. No, no problem. This way, Srila Maharaj, I am going to leave this body, his body, this Makshada Akadashi. I have a deep relationship with the disciple of disciple of Sila, Bhakti Kusum, Saman Goswami Maharaj. So many disciples. But about <coughs> Tivikka Maharaj, I can speak. So many disciples know. I have relationship with the actors and not. Previously, they used to come to me. I used to go to them in Bangladesh. But this Sivika Maharaj is a deep relationship with me. He loved me very much. He is hearing Harikatha, I don't know. You know, he think uh, in your mouth my Guru Padma was speaking, so he is hearing Harikatha. So two sloka I like to <coughs> discuss. One is the first day sloka I told. Uh, first day or uh, uh, first day slok. I was speaking. Acharya Aranir Adyo Ante 
आचार्य अरणिर आद्य साध अंते वी उत्तर आरणी तत्प्रवचनम संध्यानम विद्यासंधि सुखाव आई कैन डिस्कस हाउ समन गोसी महाराज डेवलपिंग दिव्य ज्ञान दो इटर्नल पास बट वेन कमिंग एज ए डिवोटी I can discuss this life history. Though we know eternal person, but still, when coming and taking, we can discuss this point. So, Pope had many times used to say that one Guru Dev, one Guru Dev can give initiation to so many jivatma, but not that everybody, not that everybody getting the bhagyan. A sadguru can give diksha because people come and give me diksha. I like to do bhajan. But not that each and everybody can get the bhagyan. A very few, a rare, very rare, a few of them can develop the bhagyan. It depends upon the deep relationship between disciple and guru. <coughs> It depends upon your bhajan, your relation, everything, or the upagyan. All depend upon your relationship with your sadguru. How deep relationship you have with your sadguru? According to that, you can develop the upagyan. You can get complete the upagyan if you are hundred percent harmonized with guru padma. So Saman Goswami Maharaj, one of them. <coughs> now this sloka, Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, you can remember, the fire of knowledge can enter the heart of a disciple. How? But uh, some wooden piece, dry wooden piece, Achajyar Aranir Adho. There is the wooden piece, dry wooden piece. आचार्य अरणिर आद्य सात अंते बाशी उत्तर अरणी एनदार ड्राई उडन पीस फलो इफ टू उडन पीस इफ यू मेक फ्रिक्शन इफ टू उडन पीस इफ यू मेक फ्रिक्शन देन फायर कैन कम आउट फलो बिकॉज फायर इज ऑलरेडी देयर यू कैनॉट यू कैनॉट सी फायर इन दिस वुड यू कैनॉट फाइंड Where is fire, Maharaj? I cannot see fire, but you don't know fire is there. You don't know fire is there inside your body also. Fire is there. Kiti apo tej morud bom. Fire is also there, there, but you cannot understand. So, Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. If two wooden pieces, one is the original wooden piece, I mean Guru, and a disciple, friction. Then the fire can break out. Achajjor, achajjor, oranir, adho shad, ante baoshi uttar arani. And how fire can come out? Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking to Udha. When you are going to hear Hari Katha with full attention, full sincerity and devotional mood, when you are going to hear Hari Katha with full attention. Not only addition with full devotional mood, serving mood, then tat pravachanam sanyanam vidya sandhi sukhava. Then and only then fire of knowledge can break out inside heart of disciple. Fire of knowledge follow. Fire of knowledge can break out inside heart. This way. If you if you go through Upanishad, if you can go through Upanishad, you can see all Rishi Muni. They used to give lesson, Brahma Tattva to disciple. They with they with serving mood. They with serving mood used to hear, used to hear Brahma Tattva from Guru Pad Padma. This way. By hearing Hari Katha, you know, gradually you can develop fire inside your heart. That is called fire of knowledge. 
can break out. Fire of knowledge. Long ago I was discussing one point that knowledge already there. Your Atma is there now inside. Atma is there now, all Atma inside you, inside anybody. Atma is Ganamoy, Chinmoy. Many times he told, Chid Atma, the Chid particle, what is there inside your heart? For why you are taking this body? Follow. The Atma is there. That Chid Atma is Chinmoy, Ganamoy, Prakashmoy. Why? Prakashmoy? Prakashmoy, it can show light, effulgence. So Chinmoy, transcendental, Aprakita Chinmoy, Ganamoy. Gan is always there. What Gan? That you are the servant of Bhagavan. This Gan is already there. This Gan already there. Dibbo Gan, you know, Dibbo Gan Hide Pokashito. In Kitan, you know? Dibbo Gan Hide Pokashito. Guru Mukho Padma Bakyo You know this Kitan? So it is not written. It is not the thing that your consciousness can, can be produced. It is not written. Your consciousness can be produced, not written. It is written, it can express. It can be expressed. Dibbo can hide prakashito. By the help of Gurudev, we can go on doing bhajan and Dibbo can, can enlighten. Knowledge, uh, can, uh, knowledge. Uh, it can be enlightened inside heart. So this way, Achajyor Aranir Adyashad Ante Vaoshi Uttar Arani Tat Pravachanam Sanyanam Sanyanam means effort. Tat Pravachanam Sanyanam. You go on here. Vidya Sandhi Shukhavaha. You can get the fire of knowledge, develop. Another tattu I wanted to discuss uh, one days before, one or two days before. That, that is also from Bhagavatam. Tatro Bhagavat Dharmana Shikshet Gurvatma Dayyataha Amayaya Anubritva Jais Tushet Atma Atma Dohari. What is the sloka? It is the strict regulation. It is the strict instruction of Bhagavatam. It is the strict instruction of Bhagavatam or all Sastra. That if you like to get the knowledge of Tattva Vigyan, you will have to serve your Sadguru Dev. You will have to stay under the strict, strict guidance of Guru Padma. You will have to stay under the strict guidance of Guru Padma. Like the case of Krishna. Krishna and Sudama Vipra was there in Ujjaini. Ujjaini. To get knowledge from Guru Padma Sandipani Muni. Shandipani Muni, <coughs> near Elehavad, Elehava, they are Ujjayini. Not near Elehavad, long distance. Long distance, Ujjayini. There, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Valaram went there, and it is written that Krishna Valaram serving Guru Padma as a servant. Krishna Valaram, Krishna Valaram serving Krishna Balaram serving Guru Padma as servant. Just like a servant. So this is the example, idealism, shown. So it is written, if you like to know Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, Tatro Bhagavad Dharmana Shikshet, Tatro Bhagavad Dharmana Shikshet Gurvatma Daivataha. Another vital point, you should remember, Guru Pad Padma is non-different from Bhagavan. Many times Pope was speaking in Harikatha, in writing. When many times Popat used to write and speak, many times, until and unless, until and unless you can realize that Guru Pad Padma is same with Bhagavan, until and unless you can realize the same, this Tattva Vigyan, till then you cannot do Harinam. 
You cannot do Harinam. If when you can realize Guru Patpadam, Bhagavan non different, then actual Harinam you can do. Many times, Pobato. You Padeshamrita, you can go. Many times. So, Tatro Bhagavad Dharmana Shikshed, Gurvatma Devataha. Gurvatma Devataha, you can think Gurudev and my Atma non different from me. I can, I mean, you can think my Gurudev is my heart. When you can feel, Gurudev is my heart. Tatro Bhagavad Dharman Shikshet Gurvatma Devataha. Gurudev is my heart. Then and only then you can learn Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, secret Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan, then and only then. Otherwise, partial exchange. Partial exchange. Otherwise, partial exchange with Guru Padma. Otherwise by, otherwise, by the help of partial exchange with Guru Padma, a disciple cannot get complete knowledge. By the partial exchange of, you know, with Guru Padma, I, I can stop something, I can get something, partial exchange. I can do something, okay, I can get something. This way you cannot get complete Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. You cannot get. So, Tattva Bhagavad, Tatra Bhagavad Dharmana Shikshet Gurvatma. Shikshet. Shikshet means it is affirmative. Rules, instruction. It's a must. Tatra Bhagavad Dharmana Shikshet Gurvatma Devataha. You can think Guru Patma is your heart, non different from Guru Bhagavan. Gurvatma Devataha. Eh? Amayaya. In your submission. In your submission, there should not be any maya. I mean, your submission should be perfect. Follow what I say. Your submission, there should not be any defect. In your submission, there should not be any defects, any duplicity. Tatro Bhagavad Dharmana Shikshat Gurvatma Devyataha Amayaya Anubhritva. Amayaya Mani? Amayaya means without any maya. Anubhritta means what Gurudev speaking, you will have to follow the same thing. Anubhritta. Anu means anu mean ex, anu mean two type of definition I can say. Anu means exactly what Gurudev speaking. Anu means exactly what Gurudev speaking, you will have to follow. Anu means without any interruption. Without any interruption. I mean, your Anugatta, you are showing, in between, maybe for one or two days or ten days, but two, two months, there is an interruption. Your, your Anugatta is not perfect, complete. Follow? If there is some breakage. So, Anu mean, Anu mean continuously. So, Anu mean continuously, there should not be any interruption, any breakage, any gapping in your... You know, Anugatta, and second definition is that, second definition is that, what I say? Amayaya Anubhritva, Anubhritva mean, in total, in total, you will have to follow your group path, Padma. you cannot make any separate rules and regulation, you cannot make a different, different Siddhanta Vichar, foolish world, they are not ready to accept this Siddhanta Vichar. If I point out them, if I point out, if I point out them, you see that you have taken shelter unto a lotus feet of such, such a guru who is not following his guru there. If I show them, but still they cannot believe me because they have their man power, man power, money power, position rank. I have no man, no money, no position rank. I am not important personality according to their estimation. They can follow them. If I point out them. I, I, I am in Vyasasan. I can ask them, all you bring your Shastra. I can show you. Where Prabhupada told, where Bhakti Muttakur told, where this Maharaj, your, your Param Gurudev told, where your Gurudev. But still they cannot believe me. They have a number, their number is, their number, their manpower, their manpower, money power. They can avoid me. That's why I cannot expect thousands of people can hear this kind of harikab. And also I have no desire. 
If I point out, still they cannot accept. They can say, no. I can, I can show Bhakti Mahatma Thakur book, Prabhupada book, Keshav Mahatma, all books I can open. All, one by one. I can show hundreds of books from different, but still they cannot believe me. They have some strong group. They have, ta they have taken, they have a, a strong group. Strong group. They have taken resolution to cheat people. Those who are going to meet them, if they come to me, they are coming and hearing. After that, they are going to join them. They are not coming to me. Many such disciples coming to me, meet, hearing, oh, excellent, everything. But after that, there is some magic spell. They know some black magic. Yeah. All going there. Now, this is your devotional field. To capture your mind and heart and money, they are playing some game. Practically, I am speaking. So, this way, Amayaya Anubritva, Amaya Anubritva mean continuously, there should not be any gapping. Second, I tell, whatever Guru Padma saying, that Siddhanta should be there in your life. You cannot make any separate Siddhanta. You have no right. You have no right as an Acharya, as an Acharya, it is your duty to maintain the rules and regulations. Told Sautapantha. You have no right to get deviated from the track of parampara. Then you would be punished heavily because you are breaking the parampara. So anyway, it depends on. So Amayaya Anubritva. This I explained. Joy to joy to shed atma atma do harihi. Joy means by the help of which. I mean the by the help of by the help of your anugatha, perfect anugatha. Jyot I mean you are learning Bhagavad Dharma, you are learning Bhagavad Dharma from Guru Padma with full sincerity and serving mood. Eh? This way by your anugatha, anubritta, anugatha, what will happen? You can get the keep of that Bhagavan. 100% guarantee. Joy to shed. It is written to shed affirmative. By, by the help, by the help of your this kind of perfect anugatha, Bhagavan become very happy. Joy to shed at, atma atma do harihi. And if you are going to follow your Sadguru this way, Bhagavan is going to sell himself in front of you. Atma atma do hari. Try to understand the meaning. Inside your Atma, Atma Atma Dohari. This meaning you should understand. Joy to shed Atma Atma Dohari. This meaning, joy to, by the help of this kind of Anugatha, your effort, by your continuous you know, submission unto the Lord Spirit of Guru Path Padma and learning uh, Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan with full serving mood and sincerity, in that case, what will happen? Bhagavan become very happy. Bhagavan become very happy and the word Atma Atma Dohari. Atma means inside your heart, Jivatma Paramatma Dya. Super soul is there, na? Paramatma Dya. So Paramatma is there as your super soul, Atma. Atma Atma Dohari. Bhagavan is there and Atma. Inside you, and also Bhagwan like to, Bhagwan like to sell himself. Bhagwan like to sell himself in front of you. Follow. Atma atma do atma do means Bhagwan can give Bhagwan can give himself to you. Because why not? Why not in Chaitanya Bhagavat Chaitanya? You see many times Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking. I am sold to you. I am sold to you. You can sell me to anywhere. You can go, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Many times, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking. Many times you go to Chaitanya Bhagavan, Chaitanya Bhagavan speaking. You already purchased me. I am sold to you. You can sell me to anywhere. I can give so many examples from Chaitanya Bhagavan. So this way, <coughs> our Bhakti Kushan Saman Goswami Maharaj, he used to serve Guru Pāt Padma, Sīla Pahupāt, and got full kipa this way. 
as one kind of idealism for us, this kind of submission, seva, anyway. So today is a disappearance day. Tuesday is a disappearance day of Srila Bhakti Kushan Samandu Sri Maharaj. So we beg for his kipa. Tiro Bhakti Thi, today. Tiro Bhakti Thi of Srila Kushan, today. So begging kipa from him is gone eternal world, eternal dham, we have. So, the first slok you can remember, Kripa Sindhu Susang Purno Sarva Sattva Pukarakaha Nispriyo Sarvato Siddho Sarva Vidya Visharadaha Sarva Sangsaya Sangsheta Anarasa Guru Rahit. Vanchakalpatu Sikipa Sindhu Bhavishya Patitanang Pabana Bhavishya Pyo Namo Namo.